Good morning, Arlington. Today is Friday, October 6th. I'm Emma Boyd, and this is your school news. Just a reminder for students for today's homecoming activities. You must have your current ID to enter this, the game. Orange stickers will not be allowed. No backpacks or bags of any kind. All students must be screened through security. No students will be admitted after halftime, and there will be no readmittance. This goes for the homecoming game and dance. Listen up, seniors. Justin's will be here for cap, gown, and ring orders on Monday, October 16th, and Tuesday, October 17th, during all lunch periods in Gym Lobby 2. Links and QR codes for online ordering are available on the House of 2024 website and Google Classroom. Signups for Puff Bowl from, for both players and coaches are in the main office on the counter. Girls, sign up to play flag football on Sunday, November 5th, or boys, sign, to co sign up to coach the girls. Signups are in the main office through Wednesday, October 11th. The Seniors in the City informational packets are in the Senior House office on, and some of, in the Senior Lounge. Signups take place next week on Friday, October 13th, 2023. If you have any questions, email the senior class. And just a reminder, the Science Olympiad Club's next meeting is Tuesday when we return after school in Miss Morocco's room 2317. More info will be on the Google Classroom and in meetings. And now, here's Derek and Jack with this week's sports update. He's Jack. And he's Derek. And here's, here's your, your sports, sports update. update. Last Saturday, the football team beat Mount Vernon with a score of 35-0. In the game, Micah Resigno threw one touchdown and scored two rushing touchdowns, with Luke Mackin and James Davenport also scoring in a great victory for the Admirals. Tonight, the Admirals take on New Rochelle at home for their homecoming game. Be, at, be there at 6.30 and be sure to come to cheer on your Admirals. On Monday, the girls' soccer team beat Ketchum in a 2-0 two, game. In the game, the goals were scored by Madeline Dwyer and Quinn Kaffenhammer. Later on in the week, the girls played John Jay through a tough game. The girls tied 2-2 two two with Kate Dwyer and Ava Sanaterapia scoring the goals for the Admirals. Over at John Jay, the boys' soccer team had a hard-fought 0-0 tie. Despite the result, the Arlington defense of Alex Durans, Martin Molinarski, and Miles Mayo stayed strong to keep their seventh shutout of the season. On Thursday, the boys beat Mayapak in a 2-0 win, with the goals scored by Ryan Lavelle and Evan Simmons. In the game, the boys stayed strong. Over on the gold field, the Varsity B girls team had a great overtime 2-1 win, with both scores being by, scored by Kaylin Popkin. The marching band took a long trip to Malvern this weekend. While there, they won their competition with a score of 85.20. The field hockey team had a hard battle against their rivals John Jay. Through a tough game, the girls tied 1-1. One -one. The girls swim team won against Tappan Z and competed against in the Pelham Memorial and Shenandoah. Jordan Yates won the 500 freestyle against Tappan Z and Afia Sarpong won the 50 free against Pelham. Addison Nemeth and Brianna Vera had best times in the 50 free. A Avery Simmons and Nina Lloyd had best times in the 100 fly, and Hazel Magendorf had a best time in the 100 free. The girls celebrated their seniors on Tuesday and are excited for the rest of their season and upcoming championships. That's your sports for this week. That's your news for today, Arlington. It's a B-Day. Have a marvelous day.